Okay, so this is going to be an overview of the content management system that we use at Clarity Ventures. Uh, this is one of the most prominent content management systems out there. It's called .NET Nuke. It's an open source content management system that's been downloaded uh, by hundreds of thousands of developers and is the number one .NET or Microsoft.NET solution. Um, we've, in particular, we've used this content management system for companies in the Fortune 100, um, such as Walt Disney World, through to uh, companies that are startup entrepreneurs or funded um, uh, uh, projects. So today we're just going to take a look at how you can log into the system, make changes to the site, um, add pages, modify pages, add text, remove text, add links, pictures, just some of the basics that you would use for the content management system. So to get started here, we're just going to log in. Once I log in, you'll see that the screen changes. And at the top of the screen, you'll see I have a control bar. And this control panel area um, gives me new functionality. So I can manage my page that I'm on. I can add a new page um, in, in this section. I can add modules that are available. So this is a modular content management system and it lets me add different functionality to the actual site. Um, and this is a visual uh, content management system. So I can kind of navigate to the different areas. Um, if I want to make a change to a particular page, I can navigate to that page to make the changes and edits. So I can quickly um, modify whatever it is that I see. So let's say I go to our e-commerce page and I want to make some changes. All I need to do is navigate to that page and then click on the edit content button. And this is going to give me a text editor that I can use to make changes. So it's a simple what you see is what you get text editor and it works just like Microsoft Word. So you've got your standard kind of text editing capability. Um, I can change the font size and I'm going to just do some things that will help show or demonstrate how this can work. So let's say I wanted to change all of this text to be just a little bit bigger. Um, and then maybe I wanted to um, underline some text. You can do that. So some of the basic functionality that you would expect is, is pretty easy to use, just like Microsoft Word. Um, if I wanted to add a link, I can do that. And this is really easy to use. So I can link to a page that's already on the site. Or I can link to a document. Um, I can link to PDFs or PowerPoints. You can also um, link to an email and put an automatic subject in there. So this gives me a lot of different options that I can use. I'm just going to cancel out of that for now. I can also add an image. So if I wanted to upload an image, I can upload. I can also um, select an image that's already available. So if I wanted to upload, I would click on this upload option and I can upload one or multiple images and I can manage the folders so that I can organize these different images. Um, so anyway, you can see that there's quite a bit of functionality that, um, that comes out of the box and it's really important to have that so you can manage your site properly. So we, you know, we want to make sure you've got access to all of these tools so that when you do want to make a change, uh, it's easy to do. Clarity provides written documentation in a PDF format as well as video training for you uh, before we take your site live. So we make sure that we've given you access to the right tools to be able to manage your site. We also provide a hands-on training for you and anyone else on your team and we can record that and provide it as just a uh, reference point that you can send to your team. So we can provide a recorded video of the training that we provide for you before we take the site live. So just some of the nice tools that we offer to make sure that managing your site is as easy as possible. So anyway, um, if you want to insert an image, you just find the appropriate image that you want to insert. And here I'm going to insert this .NET image. Um, you can select the property so I can align it to the right, let's say. And I can also uh, give it a border. 
and I'm just going to give it a one pixel border here. And this is just, again, maybe not as much for aesthetic purposes right now as it is for just demonstrating what's possible. I can add some padding around the image, and let's go ahead and insert that so you can see what it'll look like. Okay, so there we go. There's my image. Now let's say I want to make some changes. I can just right-click and go back to properties. So maybe I want to align it. Um, I can change the, um, the border. I can change just any of the settings for that particular image. Um, if I if I need to to uh, to change where it's positioned on the page I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that for now and to get rid of that I'm just gonna hit control Z and you can see that just like Microsoft Word this has an undo um, I can also just use this undo at the top and it's pretty cool how it'll let you undo or redo your changes so you can see anything I didn't want changed I can just undo it um, and that's really handy to have access to. And you can see it's real granular, so it's down to each of the steps that I took. And it keeps that in memory for me. So that's really nice, so you can kind of see what it's going to do. A um, couple of more things here, just to point out. Um, you can embed files like PDFs or PowerPoints. You can also add media like Flash. Um, you can add YouTube videos, uh, as well as other interactive type of media. And then down here, I just want to point out briefly a couple of other things that are really helpful. So the content management system has a publishing workflow built in. So before you publish so that the public can view a change, you can uh, save your changes, show it to your team internally. Uh, we can run a workflow around this so that it goes to a site administrative uh, kind of uh, point person, and that person can approve changes before they are published. So if you've got a pretty complicated content management system workflow, we can certainly accommodate that. Here in this case, if I wanted to immediately publish, I would just put a check here and save. And then I've got a running version history, so if I want to, I can revert back to a previous version. And I can also preview what that previous version looked like um, before I revert back. So here you can see uh, what that previous version looked like. So it's just some nice functionality that's built in to make it easier to manage your website. So that's really helpful to know that you can revert back if you make a change that you didn't want. Okay, so that's how you make changes to content on a page. Now let's take a look at how you can add a new page to your site. So what I normally do is I'll find a page that I like and I'll make a copy of it. So if you want, you can go to the current page tab in the control panel and then copy the existing page. And again, Clarity provides training videos on this, so you get a pretty um, high-level walkthrough here. We actually give you step-by-step -step written and, uh, and video training that you can reference after your site goes live. Okay, so I'm just going to say sample page. And we have a page name. The page name is what shows up in the menu. And then we have a page title, which is used for SEO purposes. So we're going to say um, sample topics, samples of topics, and you get the idea. So we'll just change this to, oops, um, we'll just change this to Clarity Adventures CMS Demo. Okay, so you can see that I can do some SEO work. I can put the description and the keywords. Uh, and then finally, as you come down here, we can do some pretty detailed things. And without getting into too much detail, we'll just cover that you can set the parent page you can specify anywhere in the menu that you want this particular page to go. So you've got a full view of the site here and you can decide uh, where you want to put that page. You can insert before or after. You can choose to add a page that doesn't show up in the menu. So that's really handy if you've got maybe a specific landing page or maybe an internal page that you just want a handful of people to have access to. You can also set the page to be viewable by the public or only by administrators. Um, you can also give specific roles or specific users access to view or edit the page. So if you want certain folks to be able to edit the page who have a specific role, um, you can give them access so that they can go in, make changes, and help you manage the site. If you want, you can make the page only viewable to admins. So all of this is built in, and it comes as part of the package. So if you've got an internal team, you want to have an HR site, or let's say you've got external users that you you know you want to 
only give them access to certain pages and that type of thing um, after they log in. The, all of those are possible and they're built in out of the box. So it's really helpful. There are a lot of more uh, details that I can go into, but just to kind of, for the sake of brevity, talk about the, the most high level things, that really would get you started. So if you want, you can copy a page, and that's what I was talking about earlier. So we're going to copy um, the uh, e-commerce page. So let's just find that. There it is. And whenever I do that, it gives me all the modules that are on the page that I can either copy or reference. So if you want, you can reference a particular module. And that's really helpful if you have the same information showing up throughout the site. But you only want to have to change it in one place. So that's what the reference is for. It's a really nice tool if you have a sidebar or a footer area that you only want content uh, or, or that you want content to consistently show throughout the site. Well, that would be a great opportunity to use a reference. So anyway, in this case, we're going to go with a copy, and I'm going to say sample content. And let's make that page. All right. So now you can see, since I didn't specify this as... Um, public view, you can see it puts red boxes around it, so I know that it's only visible by administrators. And I also stuck it in the menu here. Um, I did not give it a parent page. So let's just go take a look at how you can do that and how easy it is to specify those things. So I'm going to put that under um, services. I'm going to include it in the menu, and I'm going to make it visible to all users. And that's all I have to do there. Okay, so now you can see it's an option sample page under um, services and now I'm just going to um, move this sidebar up and then we can make changes to the page so it's as simple as that to add a page to the content management system and you can easily move this around and I'll show you the um, the page administration view so here you can see a, a kind of site map of all the pages on the site. And if I want to, I can move this uh, sample page around. So I'm just going to move this up and down here. Okay, let me move this page out. Okay, so you can see I just moved the page up using this hierarchy key and uh, that moved it out from underneath the services. So now I'm going to move it to the side on the menu. And this is just to give you an idea of you know, how easy it is to manage the different pages on the site. Okay, so you can see I've moved the page up and down in the hierarchy using these up and down arrows. And whenever I do that, that moves it on this top menu. So you can see how I can move it down the menu bar. And then I can also make it a child page. So if I wanted to make this sample page a child of about, what I would do is move it down underneath about. And then I would just make it a child page. And now you can see that sample page sits under about. So it's really easy to move the menu items around. And I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this um, page. And I can quickly delete that page. And I like to show this because you can see that that page is now available in the recycle bin. So if you delete a page accidentally and you want to recover it, you can easily do that by going to the recycle bin, which preserves pages for a set, uh, a set amount of time. So whenever I delete a page, it also deletes the modules that are on the page. And the modules contain the content and just each piece of the uh, particular page. So whenever I recover that particular page, it can also recover the modules for me and basically just restore it back to the way it was before I deleted it. So this is really nice just to make sure you've got versions of everything that you're doing. And as far as um, other features, please feel free to contact us. You can go to our website, clarity-ventures.com and uh, get in touch with us. Thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful.